in the name of the Father, Amen. in the name of the Son, Amen. in the name of the Holy Spirit, Amen. I hereby declare this project open. Flagging off the Trade Expo 2023 of the New Covenant Church at Goody Center under the code name JPEG, Job Procurement and Economic Empowerment Group, the Commissioner for Information and Civic Orientation, Prince Dr. Yilade, challenged youths to shun all forms of devious modern-day distractions such as drugs and negative influence of technology and take bold steps of acquiring necessary skills towards ensuring a secured future. Acknowledging the significance of the Treat Expo in his keynote address, the Commissioner said it's high time a significant partnership was intensified between the government, industry innovators and young entrepreneurs. Prince Uyilade, who disclosed his determination to spend the rest of his former and informal life on mentoring the young ones, also charged them to understand God factor in all they do. In life, vision is key to everything that we do. Vision is key to creating wealth. It is key to reducing poverty and open doors. During the course of inspection of the various products and services on exhibition, the commissioner didn't mince words of encouragement for the young creative designers, developers, and entrepreneurs. What I do is that Uber and Bill Gates, they should be, they should watch out. Speaking on the 2023 Expo with the team, Building Networks, the Deputy General of ASEA New Covenant Church, Reverend Ulufemi Yilade, said the church has over the years taken up the responsibility of empowering youths. There's a lot of unemployment, uh, there's a lot of financial hardship. And so a few years ago, we started the what we call Give Back, Job Procurement and Economic Empowerment Group. So this idea came from our JPEG uh, to provide a platform where first and foremost people can be trained and taught on what they can do to make money legally and in a godly manner. And also those who have already started businesses to have a platform to showcase their businesses such that they can be patronized. Some of the exhibitors said their products and services have had positive impacts on youth population and the society at large. We offer courses within the building and construction industry. So we have courses like painting, tiling, plumbing, carpentry, electrical, solar panel installation. Which people are coming from outside the country to take up this opportunity. We have neighboring, uh, people from neighboring countries coming to work in Nigeria, things that our own Nigerian children will not do. So this is an opportunity for them to train. Even those who are traveling abroad, this is an opportunity for you to train. You must have a skill. We organize training for the new group of students. We have sales. 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 So I'm single handedly trained over 500 to 1,000 individuals. And some of them are starting to open businesses and they're doing very good. This is organic soap yeah. made from shea butter. All the base. I'm still waiting for those under the gallery. Soap. So we also have. Stan, please be quiet. Then we also have body. Thank you. Share butter. So everything we use in our cosmetics. Before I go ahead, share butter, please. Some of the products on exhibition included creative artwork, varieties of foodstuffs, tie dyes, home gadgets, supplements, among others. Binga Deshi, reporting for Alode News.